I'm in Bangalore. This is the Bangalore International Ashram, Art of Living Ashram. So you know what? We have planned something fantastic, something, you know, unplanned. So let's see where we go, where we stop. We have nothing in the mind. It's all outskirts of Bangalore. So just come with us. Let's explore outskirts of Bangalore. It'll be fun. Namaskara, welcome to Karnataka. Yoo, Namaskara. Welcome to Karnataka. <laughs> so guys, our unplanned trip has started and uh, we start from uh, Bangalore, out of living ashram. And from there, we have reached uh, Ramnagar. So there's nothing interesting in Ramnagar, but yes, uh, the thing that reminds me is the movie, the famous Bollywood movie, Shole. It was shot here in Nam Ramnagar itself. And from here, we are heading to Mysore, and which is about 100 kilometers. It will take about two hours to reach Mysore. So uh, there are a lot of touristy places in Mysore, which would not cover, of course, because we are not here to cover the touristy places. But we would be uh, checking out some offbeat locations. So stay with us. here in Mysore. This is Pandavpura. You see how beautiful this place is. This is famous for the paddy fields and the sugarcane fields and all the way through drove down here and we could see all paddy fields and sugarcane fields and there are some beautiful old temples here and uh, this place you, you would find uh, some Ayurvedic products and the handiwork and all you know people selling it. It is said that the Pandavas, Pandapura uh, is from the name of the Pandavas and uh, when the Pandavas were in exile, they stayed here, you know, they stopped in this town, Pandapura. Their mother Kunti loved it so much that she made her, uh, this place, her favorite getaway. that we are here in Mysore. You actually have to drive down from the Pandavpura village and you come here and this scene is revealed in front of you which is like super super awesome, super relaxing here. So here I am at Muti Talab and Thunur Lake of today. Good morning everyone. So day two of exploring begins. We are going to Dubari National Park. It's an elephant park. Then we would be off to Kurg uh, in a coffee plantation. We plan to stay there in a coffee plantation. And then let's see what more we can explore. Trying the Tota Puri mango here in Kurg. Hey you guys, I'm here at Dubari uh, Elephant Park and this is the main attraction here in Kurg. This is a very touristy spot. Like, if you can see the long queue here, you know, people waiting for their turn to go there. So there are two options you can go by raft or you can also walk down to the park. But then yes, be prepared for a lot of crowds, especially in the season, you know.
guys, unfortunately, again, this the same thing happened. I planned not to go till the end, not to go to the farm and feed the elephants because because it's the same thing in India when you go to a touristy, touristy spot and Dubare being the top not the top one and this is the season time here there are like so much crowd around and it's so so dirty, so dirty uh, I am truly truly not impressed at all you know like uh, so I thought rather you know just chuck this off I wanted to show you this because of the special uniqueness here of the feeding of the elephants and bathing and uh, you know interaction and all that but then I decided I can't do it so this is not me touristy stuff is not your pepping traveler you let's check out cook spices and honey homemade chocolates and you know what they got homemade wines here dirt cheap let's explore alcohol right apparently this is a, a, a wine tasting here in uh, Kurg 6.30 wild chili it's alcoholic wild chili wine South Indian Thali I'm having here in Kurk and uh, the Thali has got a lot of stuff in it I'm not sure I can finish this but then it has got rasam, paisam, dal and uh, sambar and some vegetable, papar, ghee rice oh, this is a lot of food so let me see the taste if the taste differs here because the spices in, yeah, in Kurk are very, very popular you know 